Ah, ha, ha, ha. Look at that. The joy of the Lord on my face. <laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? Bam, bam. It's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Please excuse my raspy, hoarse voice, okay? I've been battling this thing for the last two weeks now. And uh, really, this um, unusual thing came back like two days ago. So uh, please excuse my raspy voice. Uh, but, uh... I know God is healing me and God is getting rid of this thing. So pray that uh, even today that uh, God will restore my voice 100% in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's Dr. Pastor Ben. Let me, let me know if you see me, if you hear me well. I'm here in Waikiki, Honolulu, Oahu. I want to say aloha to all of you guys. And uh, obviously my face is happy. I'm happy you can see. It's the glory of Hawaii, the beauty of Hawaii. And uh, I'm going to be ministering here uh, five sessions in four days. Um, Wednesday night, Thursday night, we're skipping Friday for Shabbat. And it's Saturday morning, Saturday evening, and it's Sunday. And it's Sunday evening, I'm actually flying back, red eye flight back home to Los Angeles. But today I want to talk about a prophetic stirring because I feel... A stirring of the prophetic. Can I get an amen? Oh, Rabbi Shak, I could feel the prophetic. I could feel, uh, you know, God stirring things up in the spirit and the supernatural. So uh, I want to talk about just this prophetic season, this window of the prophetic that we are in right now. And I want to minister to you. So help me to build up the room. Give us some hearts and likes. Uh, share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Amen. And let me know where you are watching from. Praise God. This is Dr. Pastor Benham. I'm here in Hawaii. I want to thank you for all of your love and all of your prayers. Amen. Because uh, it's been uh, a long journey, ongoing, on and on journey from glory to glory. And uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, Hawaii is such a beautiful place, obviously. But this is really a place where uh, I meet with the Lord and I get rest and I get refreshed in the presence and the glory of God. So uh, there's going to be a lot of great times of prayer and just soaking with Jesus. And I can already feel the peace, the presence of the Lord. So uh, thank you all for your love and your prayers. Amen. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Exciting times. Such exciting times. Amen. Let me know where you're watching from so I can give you some shout outs. Praise God. I want to give you some shout outs here. Praise the Lord. Phyllis from Greenville, South Carolina. Amen. Hey, Jay Carlos, bless you. <clears throat> amen and amen. There's so much shaking, so much activity, so much uh, happening in the natural realm. And so we need to be prayed up. We need to be suited up. We got to be watchful. Amen. Even this morning, I woke up from a very unusual dream. I woke up from a very unusual dream uh, with one of my good friends. He's a prophet and apostle. And uh, in this dream, uh, there was just unusual witchcraft that was taking place. And uh, in the dream, there was a guest minister, guest speaker, who was ministering at my friend's church. And uh, this guest minister was doing some weird, unusual witchcraft. I haven't seen anything like that um, in a dream like that. And uh, so I woke up this morning and I texted my friend, my, my good friend, prophet man of God. And um, to share with, with him the dream. But there are winds of witchcraft, but there's also winds of change. How funny, my voice, I sound like RFK right now. Uh, but there are winds of witchcraft and winds of change. 
And there are some demonic winds sent from the pit of hell that are being turned out and turned away in Jesus' name. And you and I, we have the authority to pray and to bind and to loose and to take authority in Jesus' name. Amen. We have authority. And of course, this hurricane barrel, uh, which did so much damage in the islands and the Caribbean, even in, in Houston, etc., etc. There are demonic winds, winds of witchcraft, but there's also winds of change. There are winds of grace, winds of the supernatural. And today I want to talk about this prophetic stirring. Because remember this, friends, whatever's going on in the natural is many times a reflection of the supernatural. Amen. And who knows, maybe what's going on in the natural with my throat, it may be the enemy that's trying to, you know, uh, cause me to be infirmed so that I won't be able to properly speak and minister, etc., etc. But maybe in the supernatural, it's because God wants to amplify my voice. Amen. He's refining my voice, amplifying my voice, and releasing a John the Baptist prophetic anointing on my voice in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. So whatever's going on in the natural is always a reflection of the spiritual and the supernatural. Somebody say amen. So I want to begin to minister over you and talk about this prophetic stirring because I feel winds of change. I feel suddenly and we as the people of God, we need to discern properly and we need to align with Jesus, align with heaven. Can I get an amen of what God's about to do? Somebody say hallelujah. Let me know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes so I can give you some shout outs. Praise God. Reka Soto. Let's keep building up the room and the atmosphere in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, the atmosphere is getting ripe for revival. The atmosphere is getting ripe with the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you, Lord. Dallas, Texas in the house. God bless you. I just left Dallas. Amen. Arizona, West Covina, India. Bless you. I will be in India next month. Amen. I'll be in uh, uh, Bangalore and Nagaland. Praise God. Dallas, Texas, Sacramento. Hallelujah. Jabaraba. What's up, Prophet Luis? God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Let me know where you are watching from so I could give you some shout outs. And I just want to be able to prophesy uh, what God's will. South Africa. I love and miss my South Africa family. Good to see you all from South Africa. Amen. Pro uh, Pastor Sharon from Hollywood. Amen. South Africa and House Sacramento again. Praise God. Wichita Falls, Texas, Cypress, California. Amen and amen. Atlanta, Georgia, praise God. Well, listen, friends, real quick, I want to remind you, Monday and Tuesday, we're doing Miracle Nights Live at the studio in Los Angeles, California. So powerful. And exclusively, it's going to be broadcasted on YouTube only. But especially on the Tuesday, which is July 16th, we are doing a prophetic panel, and that's going to be very powerful. So be on the lookout for that on YouTube, and you can also join us in person as part of the live TV audience. Bula from Fiji. I will be in Fiji, Lord willing, in the month of uh, August or September. So can't wait to see you all. Amen. Come on. Lift up your hands. Father, thank you for the fire of God, for winds of change, for the prophetic stirring. And I thank you right now that you are stirring the gifts up right now. You're stirring things up. You're, you're bringing things back to life. I want to prophesy over you. <laughs> Blow off the dust from your prophetic books. Blow off the dust from the old words, from all the prophecies, promises, things that you may have forgotten about, you may have left behind. Blow off the dust because there is a fresh breath. There is a new breath. There is new winds. There is new life that's coming forth over you in Jesus' name. If you receive that, say amen, amen, and amen. Now, I want to talk about the prophetic stirring. There's a few things I just kind of want to uh, share, and then we're going to tie it in together. Amen. Of course, uh, the Ruach Kodesh or uh, the Holy Spirit, of course, uh, Ruach in the Hebrew, which is Ruach Kodesh, Kadosh, Kad Kadesh means holy, set apart, sanctified. But Ruach 
All right, which a spirit means life, breath, wind, and water. So spirits are life, breath, wind, and water. Amen. Jesus says that we go to and fro like the wind. And we don't know where we're going. We don't know where we're coming from. But it's like the wind. Amen. It's like the breath of God. So, so there is a, a spiritual awakening. There is breath. There is life. There's something fresh that God's doing. Amen. And so in this season, there is a prophetic stirring. Praise God. Now, of course, here um, in, in this verse as well, we see Psalm 104. Praise God. Psalm 104, verse 4. Who makes winds his messengers, flames of fire his ministers. I feel the Holy Ghost. Flames of fire his ministers. So his ministering spirits, his angels are like winds and like fire. And we see that manifestation in the book of Acts 2 in the upper room. So right now we're seeing winds, okay? There's a lot of hurricanes. It's hurricane season. There's damage. There's destruction. And like I said earlier, there's winds of witchcraft. But there's also winds of blessing, winds of change, winds of God, angels of the Lord, ministering spirits of God. Somebody say amen. So there is a fresh breath coming over you, a fresh breath of revival, of life, of revitalization that's coming over you and over the church in this season. And I want to declare that every wind of witchcraft is being broken and dispersed in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. So we see that angels are also winds. Somebody say winds. They are winds of fire. Praise God. Here in the in the Gospel of John, which I already quoted earlier, praise God. Here in the Gospel of John, we see, thank you, Jesus, uh, in John 3, 8. Here, the word of God says that the wind blows where it will. Let, let me get uh, another translation here. Thank you, Father. Somebody say, come upon me, Jesus. Amen. So we see this in John 3, 8. The wind blows wherever it wants to. You hear it, but you do not know where it's coming from or where it is going. It is the same with everyone who's born of the Spirit. So let me ask you this question. Are you born of the Holy Ghost? Are you born of the Holy Spirit? Which means that if the wind blows wherever it goes, you and I, hear me, we need to be agile. Okay, not fragile, but we need to be agile. We need to be one with the wind. We need to be gone with the wind. We need to be agile like a sailboat, okay? Like a sailboat that catches the wind and where the power and the energy uh, of the boat is from the wind. So you and I, we need to become wind warriors, okay? Wind warriors, just like instruments, there's a whole uh, set group of instruments called the wind instruments, right? Uh, which is like the flute, which is like the well, trombone, uh, you know, some of these wind instruments. But there's a new wind coming upon you and we need to learn to be agile because God's doing a new thing. Because there is a stirring of the prophetic, a stirring of the winds of God, of the angelic. Come on. Somebody say, preach, Dr. Ben. I feel the prophetic stirring in me right now. There is a bubbling up anointing, and God is releasing fresh winds. But we need to be like the sailboats. We need to learn to catch the wind. We need to learn to become one with the wind, to run with the wind, to be gone with the wind, to use the wind for our good and for our benefit rather than against us. So there is a new wave of energy coming. There's a new thrust of energy coming. There is a new breath, a new life. There is a new revitalization. There's a new fire, a new glory that's coming upon you. Can I get an amen? But in this season, we need to learn to be agile. Okay, here, John 3, 8, the wind blows wherever it wants to. You hear it, but you do not know where. That means there's a new direction. There's a new vision. There's a new clarity. There's a new leading. I want to prophesy over you. God is doing a new thing in your life. Somebody say amen. There's new prophetic dreams and visions, creativity. All right. I've been feeling the realm of creativity so strong for the last few weeks. But there are new visions and dreams 
that God is downloading. And I want to prophesy that even in this month of July, there is a new life, a new glory that's coming upon you to dream again. For new businesses to be birthed. New uh, contracts to be signed. There's something supernatural that's taking place and that is happening. And all of God's people say, Amen. Now, I want to give you another verse here. Thank you, Jesus. If you're with me today, say amen. If you're with me today, say hallelujah. I can hear the sound of the river coming down. And once again, please excuse my hoarse voice. Just continue to pray with me, amen. Here in Matthew 8, 27, we understand the demonic wind or the storm that was sent against Jesus and the disciples. And here, Matthew 8, 27, the men were amazed. Are you ready to be amazed? What kind of man is this that even the winds and the waves obey him? So here, Jesus exercises authority over the weather, over the natural realm. Do you not know that we have dominion authority over the natural realm? Amen. And so Jesus exercises authority over the waves and the winds. Hallelujah. And they are amazed at the authority, the dominion of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, friends, right now, there is coming a shift. Okay, hear me now. There's kirabashata. Come on, I want to pray in the Holy Ghost. There is coming a shift. There is coming a prophetic release. A prophetic release of promotion, elevation, acceleration is coming upon the body of Christ. But there's also going to be winds of shaking. There's going to be winds of cleansing. Because what happens when the winds blow? When the winds blow, the dust and the debris is blown away and blown off. And whenever there's winds of change that begins to come forth, there's cleansing, there's a washing, there is a renewal, a revitalization, which means there's shaking and exposure. Come on, God is shaking the house. God is shaking his house. Amen. Good to see you, Prophet Roscoe. Hey, Kalana, love you guys. Miss you. There is a shaking of the fire of God, a shaking of the angelic host of heaven. Somebody say amen. And do you not know that the Bible says in the book of Acts that even the foundations, say foundations, the foundations of the prisons were shaken because the angels of God invaded that place. The winds of change, the winds of God show came upon that place. So you're going to be amazed. Get ready to be amazed in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that, say amen. I believe right now there are winds of shift, winds of cleansing, winds of exposure. Rabasa. But there's also a thrust. There's also a shift, a push. There is habashoko. Come on, I feel the Holy Ghost. There are new assignments being released. New ministry mantles being released. I can feel right now there's a shift right now. Listen, hear the word of the Lord. In the next two months, there's going to be a great shift, okay? The next two months, we're going to step into Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the high holy days, and then the new Hebrew year, which means you're going to be hearing from my mouth and from the mouth of many other prophets the new prophetic word of the Lord for 5785 and for 2025. Can I get an amen? Oh, but in the next two months, there's going to be a building up anointing, a thrusting forward anointing, winds of change, acceleration, purging, cleansing, promotion. Come on, somebody, because the winds, hear me, will actually take you higher. If you learn to glide with the wind, if you learn to ride with the wind, if you learn to ride on top of the clouds and the winds, then the winds are going to take you higher. So are you ready to go higher? Somebody say amen. Are you ready to go higher? So listen, I want to prophesy this over you in the name of Jesus. Number one, the first thing you can expect in this prophetic season. And again, I titled this uh, broadcast, this live broadcast, a prophetic stirring, because that's exactly what God is doing. Can I get an amen? I want to I talk about this verse here, and I want to give you five prophetic points in the mighty name of Jesus. Reka soto, thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rabasa, don't you love that I quote scripture? Amen. 
Sharabatia. It's all about the Bible, all about the Word of God. Can I get an amen? So listen to this. First Timothy chapter 1, 6 to 7. Here the Bible says, I remind you to stir up the gift. Say stir up. I remind you to stir up the gift, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So there is a stirring up anointing. And in this season, the winds of God, which is the life, the breath of the Holy Spirit, ta, is stirring things up on the inside of you. So it will be released out of you and through you in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. So number one, in this prophetic stirring, in this season of prophetic change, number one, what you can expect is dreams, Gifts and visions to be stirred up. All right, I want Prophet Alana to write that here. Dreams, visions, and gifts to be stirred up. There is a revival of the things of God. There is a coming back to life, a fresh life, a fresh breath. Amen. So dreams, gifts, and visions are being stirred up. Number two, there are new winds of creativity and life that's coming forth. New winds of creativity and life. I'm telling you, friends, there's such movement. Remember, movement is life. Movement is currency. If you don't move, you die. Okay, And even in being still with God, we need to move in, our, in the spirit realm. So number two, there is new winds of creativity and life. I want to declare over you, God is moving you from glory to glory, level to level, faith to faith, breakthrough to breakthrough, financial realm to financial realm. There is new winds of raka, new winds of creativity and life that God is breathing upon you. Somebody say amen. Number three, the third thing you can, you can expect in this season is that there, are, there is a release of angels and ministering spirits. A release of angels and ministering spirits. I'm telling you right now, friends, there's so much angelic activity right now. So much prophetic activity. Things are being stirred up in the spirit and the atmosphere. Can I get an amen? And there are new angels and ministering spirits being released. Which means that there's a new ministering glory. There are new mantles. There are new miracles of breakthrough. Somebody say amen. Miracles upon miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. Number four. The fourth thing you can expect in this season is that there's going to be winds of acceleration, elevation, and promotion. Winds of acceleration, elevation, and promotion. Remember, you need to learn to glide with the wind, to ride with the wind. And in this month, in this season, there's going to be acceleration, uh, elevation, and promotion. I prophesy that. I release that over you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you receive that, somebody say amen. Roko soto rabasa. I'm telling you in the name of Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. And number five, the fifth thing you can expect in this season is winds of change, cleansing, and exposure. There is a cleansing anointing. Whenever the angels, the ministering spirits of God, invade and come upon a place, there is a shaking, a cleansing, and exposure. So listen, friends. God is cleaning house this month, July, in the seventh month of 2024. Come on, somebody. In the seventh month of 2024, God is shaking things. He's cleansing things. He's blowing the debris. He's blowing the nonsense. He's blowing the witchcraft. He's blowing the attacks, the warfare. His wind is stronger than the wind of the enemy. And I believe we need to take authority. We need to stand our ground. We need to pray, prophesy, declare. We need to decree the word of the Lord. Somebody say amen. Because there is a declaration anointing for us to prophesy the word of the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. I want to declare over you that there is winds of shaking, cleansing, and exposure that's coming upon the house of God. But it's a beautiful thing. It's a good thing. It's a God thing. Why? Because he's doing a new thing. Somebody say amen. Listen, there is a prophetic stirring, my friends. 
Do you feel the shift in the air? Do you feel the stirring in the atmosphere? And I want to encourage you prophetically by the Spirit of God. I want to encourage you. Come on, that's why I'm talking to you. I want to encourage you prophetically by the Spirit of God. Become one with the wind. Be agile. Don't be fragile. Be agile. Learn to glide. Learn to ride. Learn to soar with the wind. All right? Many people... All right, many people think the winds are an attack. Actually, the winds will be used for your advantage. Somebody say amen. Come on. It's going to be an advantageous season. It's going to be an advantageous moment in your life. Raka, come on. I want you to just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost because I feel the prophetic stirring right now. Rababa, come on. There, are, there is a release of mantles and gifts in Jesus' name. Assignments, alignments, there is a release. But we must pray. We must press in. We must begin to seek the face of God. Press into that realm of rest. Press into that realm of the Holy Ghost. Sakata. Rebe Soto. Listen, I feel this right now. Jesus said, He took authority over the waves and the winds. I feel the Lord. And they were amazed. Who is this that even silences the waves and the winds? Listen, all of you, where you've been experiencing demonic witchcraft, you've been experiencing a hit list, a backlash, you've been experiencing winds of warfare. If you've been experiencing winds of the enemy coming against you, coming coming upon you, If that's you, I want you to lift up your hands and give us some hearts and likes because I want to pray with you and over you right now in Jesus' name. Because the Lord, greater is he who's in you than he who's in the world. And I believe right now God is raising up a standard. Amen. He's raising up a standard in your life. Come on, a wall of prayer, a wall of intercession. And this wall will not break. It will not be breached. It will not be overcome. But I declare right now that there is a new fortifying anointing where he is fortifying, he is strengthening, he is building, he is equipping. Somebody say amen. Every wind of witchcraft be dispersed now. Every demonic wind that has been sent against you. We breathe and we blow it away in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Roko Soto. Remember the story of Jonah. Come on, somebody say preach, Dr. Ben. Remember the story of Jonah. Jonah chapter 1. The Bible says, hallelujah. The Lord, and I'm reading out of the KJV right now. Just copy and paste. Shut up, such a stirring. The Lord sent out a great wind into the sea and there was a mighty tempest in the sea so that the ship was to be broken, all right? So who here knows that this wind that was sent, amen? Shut up, Oh, actually, this wind out there, that's the wrong verse. But hear, hear this verse here, people of God. This is gonna encourage you. If you're blessed today, say amen. Jonah 4, 8, hallelujah. Awake, awake, O oh north wind. Awake, awake, O oh south wind. Blow over me. Thank you, Jesus. Jonah 4, 8. When the sun rose, God appointed a scorching east wind. And the sun beat down on the head of Jonah, said he was faint, and he asked that it would die. Blah, blah, blah. So listen, God is able to send the wind. Okay. And of course, in this passage, of scorching wind so that Jonah would actually get up and repent. But there is a wind of repentance, a wind being sent from God. And even in the, in the first verse that I mentioned in Jonah chapter one, there is a wind of shaking and awakening that's being released in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Listen, I want to declare over you, God's wind is covering you. God's wind is is covering you. All right, I think I got one more verse here that's coming up in my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I I believe we got one more verse I need to speak on and declare in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. All right, I like this one. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> All right, bam, bam, let's go. Let's go, Brandon. Come on, let's go, Jesus. Here we go. Sharabatiara brata. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, someone say preach, Dr. Ben. Here we see in 2 Kings, the story of prophet Elijah. The prophet Elijah was taken up in a whirlwind. So, amen. The Lord is in the whirlwind. The prophet Elijah was taken up in a whirlwind. God's about to take you up. You see, <clears throat> excuse me, in Ezekiel 1.4. God appears to Ezekiel in a whirlwind. God appears to the prophet Ezekiel in a whirlwind. So you see many times the whirlwind is not just an attack of the enemy, but it is the appearance, the manifestation, the theophany of God. It is the appearance of Jesus. It is the Lord Yeshua appearing to take up his prophets, to catch up his prophets, to elevate, to rise up, to raise up in Jesus' mighty name. You're about to get caught up in the whirlwind. Ah, you're about to get caught up in the whirlwind. All right, one more verse. Sharabata. My gosh, I'm just flowing. Come on, Sarabatia Rabrasa. Rababa soto robo soto. Sharabatiarabrasata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at that. Revelation chapter 7, 1 to 3. Thank you, Lord, for the fire of God. After these things, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. Wow. That the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea, or any tree. Then it's saw another angel. So listen, there's something called the four winds of the earth, okay? And it is a realm or a dimension, I believe, of the angelic or the power of God. There, there are scrolls opening. There are realms in heaven opening over your life. Somebody say amen. And I believe that God is beginning to release a fresh wind, a new wind, a glory wind, a whirlwind, a fire wind, winds of messengers of ministering spirits. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. So listen, I want to pray for you right now. Lift up your hands. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Rababa. Come on, just begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Reka soto raba soto. Come on, begin to stir up the gifts in Jesus' mighty name. Raka so. Thank you, Lord, for winds of change, fresh fire, winds of glory, winds of miracles. I declare right now, God is shifting you into a good season. God is shifting you, moving you into a new realm. Come on, somebody say amen. Lift up your hands. I want you to repeat this after we say, Jesus, help me to be agile and one with your spirit. Come on, I want to move with your spirit. I want to move with your wind. I want to move with the winds of acceleration. I want to move with the winds of prophecy. Somebody say hallelujah. Come on, I feel the Holy Ghost. Just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Rebeso korabrasa tarabrasa. Jababa, he's blowing off the dust. He's blowing off the debris. Jesus. Jababa, he's doing a new thing in your life. Thank you, Jesus. And every demonic whirlwind will be broken and dispersed. Hey! And God is going to hide you and catch you up in the whirlwind of his presence in the whirlwind of his glory. Come on, now I want you to put your hands on your belly. Amen. Put your hands on your belly. And I want you to just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost because there's a stirring up. I even believe there's deliverance happening. There's deliverance happening and there is a stirring up of the gifts of God. Deliverance from every yoke, every demonic bondage and yoke in Jesus' name, there is Raka Sotora. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, fire, fire, fire. Raka so that's right. Thank you, Jesus. Come up and out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for freedom. Rababa, there's an unlocking, an unlocking, and an opening of the Spirit in your soul, in your spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. Rababa, and I declare now, there's a new wind of change and energy. It's a wind of joy. It's a wind of revitalization. <laughs> it's a wind of excitement. It's a wind of dreams of refreshment. 
It's a wind of happiness. Somebody say amen. Let's keep praying in the spirit right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Masha Torabroso Korabrasa. Come on, just keep praying in the Holy Ghost. Rebes. This is called yielding in the Lord. This is called waiting upon Jesus right now. Roboso Torabrasa. Because I only want to speak and do what the Spirit of God is leading to do. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jaba Baba Sata. And unlocking of finances. And unlocking of destiny doors. Hallelujah. And unlocking of the treasures and the mysteries of God. And unlocking in Jesus' name. Listen, I want to prophesy over you. There's a financial wind coming to you. I can see a financial wind. Which means financial angels. Amen. But I can see financial winds coming to you. And I believe right now. There's going to be a release of financial grace over your life. Even in the next seven days. Amen. I want to prophesy. The next seven days and the next seven weeks. There's going to be a release of financial miracles in your life. Of financial wins. Things are going to shift for you. The trajectory of your life is going to shift for you. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. There's going to be financial winds coming over you, which is really winds of harvest. Amen. Somebody say amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, the next seven days to the next seven weeks, lift up your hands. Father, bless your people. I declare every single person who connects with this word and with this anointing, that bears a witness with this prophetic word. I declare, let it be unto them according to your word. In Jesus' mighty name. All of God's people say amen. Listen, people of God, I feel such a stirring. And uh, I have to obey the Lord, okay? I have to obey. But right now in this moment, right now you obey Jesus as I'm obeying the Lord, okay? I really only, you know... Uh, give an opportunity for you to sow on these broadcasts. I mean, all of these broadcasts are free, of course, but, you know, to reach more people. But when I really sense the Lord challenging and impressing, hallelujah, for that greater breakthrough, I know it's the financial seed, it's an act of faith, it's our obedience, it's our worship. So listen, if you believe this is the word of the Lord today, I want you to sow a seed. Just bless God, honor the Lord, obey Jesus, Okay. Um, and watch what God's going to do. I'm telling you, even last night on our Zoom, I felt this challenge to challenge the people. And I felt the Lord challenge and say, uh, believe to sow a greater sacrificial seed in the next one to two weeks. Because something big is coming and it's around the corner. If you believe that, say amen. So listen, friends, I, I want to encourage you to sow, just obey the Lord. Amen. Because there is a prophetic stirring and it's in these moments of activation and moments of, of uh, yeah, activation that this is when you want to sow and you want to partner with the Lord because uh, there's going to be greater quantum leaps in these types of moments. Amen. So as you sow, sow according to the word of God, sow according to your faith. Amen. And uh, just bless God. And I want you to comment breakthrough as you sow. Praise God. I'm telling you, I feel the break we're anointing. Amen. And I would only do this as a man of God when I feel the, I mean, it's always good to worship God and to give. Amen. But I would only do this as a man of God when I feel the leading and the stirring of God. Amen. So, and I know many of you are a witness of that. So praise God. I want you to comment breakthrough as you sow or as you feel led to sow, or you can even comment pledge if you want to make a pledge to sow after the broadcast or the next day or so. Hallelujah. But, Shochil uh, Arroyo, God bless you. Ghani, Ghani Reddy, God bless you. Jacomi Zier, God bless you. Amen. Tia, God bless you. Rabasata, Zara Santos, God bless you. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Rabasata, that's right, financial wins. Soraya, God bless you. Yes, Lord. Jesus, thank you, Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost. Sandy Archibald, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. That's right. 
so according to your faith, especially in this moment, it's so important to connect in that live moment. And that's why God has brought you on this live, to not just be encouraged, but really to break through to the next level. Amen. So, so according to your faith and attach your faith with the seed. And we did post ways to give Maria. It's pinned. Amen. Shout about the prophetess Ivana. Bless you. Pastor Sharon, bless you. Thank you, Lord. Shout about the wind of change. That's right. That's right. Come on, somebody. Just bless the Lord. Obey God. Ashley De La God is a God bless you. We declare fire upon you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Rabasata. Thank you, Jesus. Rabasata. Hallelujah. But I'm here in Hawaii and I'm ministering five days. <laughs> Actually, four days, five sessions. Amen. Meli Samuel Sawaj, God bless you. And then next week, I'll be in Vancouver, Canada. And then after that, friends, I'm going to be going over to, uh, Prophet Zalana, bless you. I'm going to be going over to India. So thank you for all your love and prayers and partnership. Amen. Because we can't do what we do without you. We're doing it together as a family and in covenant ministry relationship. Amen. Rabba Sata. Shekinah bless you. Listen, Maria, if you don't see it, somebody on our team can message you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Comment breakthrough as you sow. Juan Martinez, bless you. Because there is such a prophetic stirring. And you must come in agreement. Amen. Come in agreement with what God's doing. Don't miss this moment. Hallelujah. That's right. It's coming. It's coming. It's blowing. He's breathing. It's changing. It's shifting in your life. In Jesus' name. Somebody say hallelujah. Rababa Soto. Patrice Leones, bless you, Rachel. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. That's right. Come on, lift up your hands, friends. Father, I thank you that our friends, you, will have authority over the winds. And you will be a wind warrior. <laughs> You will be a wind warrior. Do you know as you worship and pray, the winds begin to move? As you worship and your worship blows the winds. <clears throat> your worship releases the winds. And I declare there are new winds coming over you and around you, surrounding you to take you to the next place, space and level in Jesus' name. If you believe and receive that, say amen. Glory be to God. Friends, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. If you received it and you enjoyed, please like and share. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on YouTube and on Instagram, TikTok here. Amen. Beloved Z Zakaya and as God bless you. God is moving. And thank you for your love and prayer. Today, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim signing out live from Hawaii. Aloha. God bless you. Love you. And we'll see you soon. Shalom.